uh, James Hartel. Okay, so our project was working on a low-cost prosthetic knee joint. Um, a main concern here was that it isn't an actual implant, it's actually for transfemoral amputees. So this is for anyone that has an amputation above the knee. So we went over and we designed this for India with the All Indian Institute of Medical Sciences. So right now, the current issues over in India are that their knee joints are really expensive and because it's a developing country, there's sanitary issues and a lot of motor accidents over there. So that kind of drives our project. So pretty much we worked on the project over the semester and we worked on designing designing a knee with variable resistance. So we um, have a really simple design where it's kind of blocked so it's easy to manufacture over in India. And we, fast, or we worked a lot on um, improving the friction, the flexion, and the adjustability. So we put a cap frictional resistor in our knee so that it is easy to adjust and it, it can be tailored to different people's needs. I'm Bobby, I'm um, in the biomed department, but this is a mechanical project. Um, so last year's knee, uh, this is an improvement off last year's. Last year's was really bulky, it was about twice the size, and uh, it didn't bend uh, with as much flexion as our customer would like. Um, as James said, we worked with the hospital in India, and they said, it's too expensive, uh, too bulky, like people didn't like it over there. So what we wanted to do was improve the flexion because um, in the Indian lifestyle, crouching is very important. It's how you go to the bathroom over there and it's how you uh, eat and sit down. So what we wanted to do is come up with a knee that was able to flex to the com uh, complete 160 or well, 145 degrees. Ours goes 160 and one that was able to change how fast it rotated. Um, ours, as James mentioned, we have an adjustable friction resistor. You can tighten it if you want to move quickly across the street or you can loosen it so that it's easy to walk up and down stairs. Uh, okay. My name is Dave Wyland. I'm also a biomed. So, as they were saying, our knee is we try to make it as affordable as possible. We reduced the price down to about $45. Uh, and our customer really, really liked the design. He thought it was really sleek, very affordable, and the flexion was perfect for the Indian lifestyle. Overall, he was really happy, and we look forward to sending him a new uh, prototype for testing over there in India.